Ariana Grande and Iggy Azalea read naughty mean tweets and can barely keep it together. And we're breaking down Kanye and Rihanna's new music video for four or five seconds. And Frozen, Katy Perry, and Nicki Minaj are all trending right now, but why? Ooh, we've got those details and a lot more on today's rundown. Hey you guys, welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown with Erin Robinson, of course, you know me, but joining me today is my office roomie, Danielle Robay. Thanks for hanging. Thank you, not your real roomie, just no, your office roomie. No, not yet, at least. That's you can move true. in anytime you want, though, Thank I love you. You. Uh, you guys, it's Tuesday, there's an outfit of the day coming, but this is a jam packed show, just warning you. Yeah, and Erin's gonna break down some mean tweets that Jimmy Kimmel read, they're hilarious. They're funny. Yes, Jimmy Kimmel's Mean Tweet segment is back and better than ever. Katy Perry, Ariana Grande, Iggy Azalea, um, so many people are reading these horrible mean tweets that people say online. Awful, awful stuff, but it's really funny, you guys. Take a look. A Lady Gaga fragrance? Bet it smells like <laughs> It does. Jessie J looks like she takes giant <laughs> stinky ones too. Hey, look. Ed Sheeran is still ugly. <laughs> I really want to just flick Iggy Azalea's stupid mole off her face and into the bin. The weather in New York City right now is like a young Britney Spears. Pretty hot, kind of gross. I'd rather listen to an auto-tuned auto queef play it on a continuous loop than listen to Ariana Grande's new album. <laughs> okay, Danielle, what was your favorite meme tweet? It's so hard to choose. I think Ariana Grande's, because she yeah. could honestly barely get the words out. I know, well, the word queef is <laughs> quite a word to have you to read. You can barely get the words out. I know. But it's like, it's so funny hearing them read their own, like the comments about themselves are really mean, but hearing yeah. it from themselves. Some of them are really funny too, like Cy, who ended the segment with the funniest like exchange and comeback. Watch that really quick. I want to shove a stick up Cy's ass so he cannot dance anymore. <laughs> You can do it, but I still can't dance. So funny. And most of these were funny. Wiz Khalifa said that um, he looked like a homeless woman. The Britney Spears one really got me laughing because I feel like everyone's really thinking that. Also, Ed Sheeran's was kind of sad. Mm -hmm. It made me sad for him. And I think you're adorable. Don't let we the haters you. break you down, boo. Speaking of mean tweets, I don't know if Rihanna and Kanye are gonna get any mean tweets about their new music video. What do you think? Less than two weeks after sharing their collaboration, they put out the music video with Paul McCartney, and it's all in black and white, though you can tell that they're wearing some denim. Kind of throwback. It is kind of a throwback, but I think that's what Kanye is getting at with his new music. It's a really cool, like, chill song, but I still yeah. don't really know what it's about. Um, if anybody could tell me in the comments, I kind of, like, what's, like, Wildin'? Does anybody know? <laughs> we were talking about this in our office. What is this song about? I have to say the music video is hot. I loved it. Rihanna looks yeah. gorgeous in it. Really natural. Um, natural makeup, just hair slicked back, looked yeah. sexy, but still, like, kind of urban and edgy, and I just, I loved her style in it. Uh, yeah. But Paul McCartney kind of looked out of place, I'm not gonna lie. You but think? I think he kind of was like, okay, I don't know what's happening, I'm just gonna jam just out. Like wearing his jeans, playing guitar. Yeah, but I thought the video was awesome, and I really like the song, it's so catchy. We keep singing it. Okay, you guys, there's so much happening on the internet today, I could not choose just one story, so I we're gonna bring you a roundup up. of everything that you gotta know happening right now. First of all, Frozen, the sequel. We knew it was happening. It's gonna be a short film. It's gonna be seven minutes. It's gonna air ahead of Cinderella in March when it hits theaters. Um, but we have some brand new stills coming out of the movie and they look so cool. There are six new photos specifically and we can tell from them that it's gonna be all about Anna's birthday. And there's this beautiful party set up at the castle. Olaf is eating some cake, doing himself. Uh, Anna and Elsa are getting some sister time in together which I thought was really cool. And then I love the new princess dress that's happening in this one photo. Oh, and that awkward family photo on the wall. And I just, it's so cute. And also I just heard that the writers of Let It Go are writing a new song for this the short film. This is my film. big, my exciting part. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, we're gonna be like addicted to whatever this song is. I just feel it in my bones. Yeah. Uh, next up is Chris Pratt and Chris Evans 
photobombing people at the Super Bowl. Those are two great Chris's. They're, I like Chris Squared. Chris Squared a is lot. awesome. I like him a lot. So unsuspecting NFL fans were victims of Jimmy Fallon's famous photobombing at the NBC Red Carpet at this weekend's Super Bowl. But this rendition was by far the most epic because Jimmy recruited not one but two superheroes, Chris Pratt and Chris Evans, who plays Star-Lord and Captain America, of course, uh, to help him tackle some hilarious and pretty lofty photo bombs uh, from Chris Pratt packing a hoagie in his pants to Chris, Chris and Jimmy doing a triple piggyback thing, which is no easy feat, that mind is you. Not Very easy. dangerous. But finally, it was Chris Evans who showed us all that he actually is Captain America by jumping over Chris Pratt, who stands at six foot two inches tall, jumped over him like it was no big deal. He could jump over me like twice, that means. Oh, you're such a little person. It's so <laughs> cute. But that's not all. There's so much more happening online. We have a hot new possible couple sighting with rapper Nicki Minaj and her new beau. Thank you, Curious157, for sending me the tweet about it. Okay, so Nicki Minaj shared this lovey-dovey photo on her Instagram without a caption, and it's of her next to fellow rapper Meek Mill on Monday. Not only does Nicki look really happy and a little bit like she's up to something. I love that face. Right? But Meek Mill is holding her tight and kissing her cheek, and that is not a friendly kiss, my friends. <laughs> um, they worked on the pink print together, and even though they both said that they are just friends, this photo leads me to believe that that's not true. And Nikki's been talking about wanting to start a family. Oh. So. I like them together. I think they're cute. Another couple that I think are cute together, although I don't know if they're good for each other, is Katy Perry and John Mayer. Of course, we know they were reuniting at the Super Bowl. Yeah. But today, Katy is celebrating maybe not her love life, but her record sales. So Katy made history as Major. the most watched halftime Super Bowl show ever. It was like 118.5 million viewers. Can you believe she beat out Queen B? Um, I can't believe that. That's but a lot of eyeballs. That's a lot of eyeballs, but Queen B is still my favorite Super Bowl performance ever. I'm just gonna say it. Love you, Katy. Queen B still is the queen. Uh, but not only is Katy making records for that, but uh, Missy Elliott, who joined Katy on stage, who by far is my, was my highlight of the show. Is Damina in the house? What? Work it! Uh, <laughs> so Missy has had like a resurgence of popularity. A lot of people yep. didn't know who she was because she hadn't put in an album in so long. But a lot of her songs, including Work It, Get Your Freak On, and Lose Control, were all in the top 10 on the iTunes chart. Um, and she tweeted out if people bought her album and sent her photos that she would follow them on Twitter. So you guys take advantage of that. Her um, streaming was up on Spotify over a thousand percent. So I don't know if her old fans missed her and her new fans were finding out who she was, but <laughs> her music's is going timeless. To the her music's timeless. I feel like yeah. kids today will jam out to that these songs right now. They're so good. Yeah. Something else is chart topping is some fashion hidden Hollywood and we have our OOTD segment happening right now. Danielle, you kick us off. Okay, well, kind of like the color of your lipstick, orange is definitely the new black. Jenna Dewan Tatum came out with her hubby, Channing Tatum, yeah. for his movie premiere last night and she wore the most beautiful orange dress. It had paneling, like pretty cutouts right on the side and it was by Kushni et Ak, which I actually looked up how to pronounce. <laughs> That's hard. Um, and it was gorgeous. It was orange halter neck, and she had beautiful Kimberly McDonald jewels and Stuart Weitzman heels. And my mom always said, it doesn't matter what you wear if you have a rockin' bod, and I think that she proved it because Girlfriend is in shape. Also, that was the Jupiter Ascending carpet, by yes. the way, the premiere. Uh, and I also have an OOTD from the Jupiter Ascending All premiere. Right. It is, of course, Mila Kunis, Mila. who just gave birth just four months ago to baby Wyatt. And she was kind of a, a bigger pregnant lady. Like, I, <laughs> I, I thought that she was going to have some trouble dropping that weight because she got, she's such a tiny Well, person. us shorties, it's hard. Where it's are you going to put her? It? It's hard. So <laughs> I was so amazed when she stepped out on the carpet it in this black strapless Dolce & Gabbana bustier dress. She wore a Christian Louboutin lace, super sexy sandals, which were my favorite part of this outfit. Those sandals I want so bad. Uh, but I thought she looked gorgeous, and she also looked confident, which is something that I love to see new moms when they step out on carpets, because their body has changed. She's breastfeeding. Like, things don't really feel the same when you have a baby, but when yeah. you can step out and look confident and look gorgeous, I'm just like, I, I like admire you. Now that I'm looking at the picture, I like that it's kind of edgy too. Yeah, it's like funky fresh. Yeah. 
We got through that. There's a lot of stuff to talk about, but a lot we of really always awesome end up stuff. dancing. I know we do always end up dancing on the show. You guys don't see that part, but maybe you will on this on Monday. <laughs> all right, you guys. So let's ask a couple questions. We want to know a couple things. Mm -hmm. First of all, the four or five seconds music video. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Can you please tell me what the song is about? Because I'm still confused, but I love it. Yes, and also, is Nicki Minaj really in a new relationship with Meek Mill? Mm, I don't know. I think so. You guys, weigh in. Be Inspector Gadgets out there. I said that last week. It's my new favorite thing. Uh, let us know what you think, and you guys will be back here tomorrow on the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Thanks for watching. See you later. Oh, you guys, but wait, we have so much more to talk about. Katy Perry's Super Bowl performance, let's be honest, was like the best ever. And to catch a recap of that, click on the video box on the left. And also, speaking of Katy, she and Taylor have major disage going on. And to see what we're talking about, click in the video box on the right for that.